As marketers, we have to change with our markets, and our markets are drastically and permanently changing. Right now, right now, over 86% of the entire world is mobile. Six billion between smartphones, feature phones, tablets, and e-readers. Folks, we have a 100% penetration rate in developed countries and over 50% in developing nations. Face it, our world has gone mobile, and what does that mean for we as marketers? Our mobile initiatives, our programs, our plans need to adjust and align to them. You know, when you think of mobile, you need to think unique because it's the one device that's always on, that's always with audiences, that is always connected to the web, and it's the media we use the most. Monitor your own behavior over the next week. How many times a day are you texting? Are you tweeting? Are you reading your own email via your smartphone versus via your laptop? Same thing with your markets. But the true story and the real story is not these nifty, cutting-edge, cool devices, though they sure are nifty and cool and cutting-edge. It's how anytime, anywhere is changing us. It's changing our habits, our preferences, our thresholds, and our expectations. And by us, I mean our customers, our prospects, our partners. This changes things, folks. You know, I call it a revolution, and I know we as marketers are guilty as charged of calling everything a revolution or innovative or groundbreaking. But this time, I really mean it, because this time, our world has gone mobile quickly so, and we ain't going back. So, right now, we spend more than half our waking day, more than half our waking day consuming media. When you're texting, when you're tweeting, when you're using that GPS system in your mobile device in order to get to point A to point B successfully, when you're watching 30 hours of backlog TV in that DVR, you are consuming media like mad. So too are our markets. And we're always on and always connected. You know, the true story of our time is global. We're a 24-7, 365 world, and now we have the technolo technologies to not always be always working, but always connected, no matter where we are in this big old globe. And we inhabit two worlds at the same time. When you're watching your favorite show and tweeting via your smartphone, you're inhabiting the virtual and the physical world. When you're checking your email via your smartphone on Amtrak train, you are bridging the physical and the virtual world. When you're in the supermarket and you're scanning QR codes so you can get coupons on groceries or learn about new recipes for your families, you are bridging and living in the virtual and the physical world at the same time all the time now. And we're impatient. In the last three years, the threshold for a website page to load has gone from four seconds down to two. And now mobile users will not stay on a site. It's more than eight to ten seconds to download. And we consume media on different devices. Now it's TV anytime, anywhere, whether it's Time Warner Cable making any room in your house a TV room or the even better play by Dish Network, whether you're in Boise, in Bangkok, in Beijing, on your smartphone, your tablet, your e-reader, you can watch your cable shows and your DVR programs anytime, anywhere, all the time. Now that's mobile. And we purchase anytime, anywhere. The impulse line is no longer the checkout line at the grocery store. Now the true impulse purchase is through the smartphone. No matter where I see something I want, when I want it, I can get it at the time I need it. And we're more demanding and we expect better, faster, and easier. No longer do we even have to go to the bank anymore in order to deposit a physical check. Now through apps like with Chase and other financial services, we just scan the check and it instantly goes to our accounts. Because who's patient enough? Who has the time enough to actually have to go to the bank to do banking transactions? Yep, better, faster, and easier is the way this world is rolling and it's only going more so. And we are manic multitaskers. We are holding multiple conversations over multiple, multiple devices through multiple channels all the time at the same time. So what does that come down to, marketers? More media use. More demanding. More impatient. We need more control. We expect more freedom. And we can't get enough new tools. Revolution, anyone? Indeed. Remember. 
What a revolution means to us is that our world has gone mobile, so too must our marketing. And what does that mean for you? These new tools. You need to use the same tools that you're using in your own life and work that your consumer or executive audiences are using. We need to follow these new behaviors and we need to align our programs around them. We need to use an entirely new set of thinking for the anytime, anywhere world. We need to develop new strategies and most importantly, we need to get excited about all the new opportunities that this anytime, anywhere era is heralding for us. Now, if you want to learn more about the mobile revolution and B2B, download my free mobile guide at b2bmobilerevolution.com where you'll have five imperatives for the anytime, anywhere world. You'll get 10 B2B examples and seven videos to hit those lessons home. Well, until next time, marketers, keep gaining ideas, getting inspired, and going mobile.